What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel today. We are at a job site that you guys have never seen. I almost didn't make a video today because my day got flipped upside down. The guy that was supposed to be here kind of screwed us. So I had to fill in. I left Rodrigo and Kevin over at our shop. They're doing stuff over there. And I am at a condominium complex that we do. This is the only condo complex we do. My brother plows it during the storm. And then per contract, we have to be here, I believe the two days following. I never work here. This is honestly my first time plowing snow here or doing anything here in years. I used to come here every now and then, and it's probably been over eight years since I've been here for a snow, rela snow related reason. But this is what it looks like. It is basically a loop. We're on the way out right now, but it is one lane down on the left side. There is a turnaround at the end and one lane up. You got parking on both sides of the road here. There's a couple of these cutovers here, but I'm gonna take you on a lap around here real quick just to show you what it looks like. And then I'll explain pretty much why I'm here but it is a single single road in and out with I think one, two, three or four cutovers. Um, and then you go out to a main road at a traffic light, which is where we stop. But obviously the roadway is clear. It's a little wet, but there's no snow or ice in the roadway just at the ends of the cars and the parking spots. But that is the issue with doing a condo complex is in the parking spots, there's all the cars. So obviously during a storm, most people don't work, they're home and you can't plow the actual parking spots. So basically you're stuck with just doing the roadways during the storm and we're not gonna go up to the light, but this is the last turnaround. That's a different building we don't do up there, but we do do this roadway to the traffic light and we do all these cutovers down here. This is the entrance on this side where these wrong way signs are. If you go up there, that brings you to where you come in here. Let's see if I'll make it over the curb, I should. So this is the entrance lane, if you wanna call it that, and then I'll call the other side the exit lane. But obviously this is fairly large and there's a ton of cars here and our job the following days of the storm is when there's multiple parking spots in a row, anywhere two spots plus single spots we don't do, anywhere that has multiple spots in a row, we have to push all of it to the curb and then salt it. And that is pretty much what I am here for all day. So I'm just gonna drive down here. I started doing some of it. I've been here for a couple hours now and I've done a lot on the way in. There's also fire lanes, which I will show you. They're pretty much the entrances, the walkways into the condos here. Uh, there should be one right up here. So I did this one. You can see there is a entrance in there. We have to back bleed them and salt them as well. So we're not allowed to pile snow there that way. If there is a fire, the firemen or the police officers, whoever are coming can get in there without any issues. But basically what I'm doing today is driving through. You can see I did this right here, pushed it up to the curb, salted it. Actually, I didn't salt that one. I don't think yet. I've been salting some of them, some of them I have, and I'm gonna do the salt towards the end. But you can see there's a bunch of spots here. They all pretty much get skipped. This is another one I just did. They all pretty much get skipped during the storm because almost the entire parking lot is full. There are people coming and going. My brother says overnight, there might be a hundred cars coming and going. And then during the day, it's thousands. People in and out all day. So it's pretty hectic here. And it is uh, mentally draining because you have to be completely aware of your surroundings. There's people backing out, people pulling up behind you, 
say I pull into a spot to push it, I have to back out now and I might be blind because I have a car next to me. So I have to go super slow and hope that people are paying attention to me as well. But this is the turnaround here and this is the way out. This is pretty much where I picked up the video. So I'm gonna set my camera up somewhere, start pushing up spots and salt him. We'll let all these people pass me for a second. But I'm gonna set my camera up. We'll start pushing up spots. I'm gonna go run somewhere and grab lunch in a little bit. It's almost one o'clock now. But I think I have to stay here till at least three o'clock. All right guys, let's see how much salt we have left in here. Not too much, you can see back there. So I'm gonna set this up in the back here. We're gonna run the rest of the salt out and get out of here. It is about 2.50, I think. Let me see what this is, 2.51. And we have to be here till three. All right guys, I just got Japanese food from this like Japanese fast food type of place. You're in and out of there within, I would say five minutes. But I got some chicken teriyaki, some vegetables, and some brown rice. I'm gonna scarf this down real quick and then we'll head back to our shop. All right guys, I just got back to my shop. I parked the truck over here, but before we get out of here, Kevin and Rodrigo are actually out. They got some ice calls, so they're taking care of that. But I'm just gonna walk down the line and check how much of the blades are left. So that way, tomorrow, we know which trucks we have to change. This one is obviously good. We got like two inches left on there. This is my truck. This one should be good as well. Yeah, that's good. These winter equipment blades last forever. The rubbers wear down a lot faster, obviously, but these are all good. This truck, we haven't even used this year. This one, we got plenty left on here. I haven't used this truck either. This one, we got to flip the front. I don't know what's going on here, but you can see in this plate, it's getting worn down. So it seems like the front is catching or something. There's, huh. I wonder if he's setting too much down pressure. He should have this in the middle here. This is basically a float mode for these 
and the guy that drives this is one of our best drivers so i don't know there must be something happening here but obviously we got to keep an eye on that he is still pretty far away from the actual plow so that's not an issue but we got to keep we got to keep an eye on that the same thing happened in here a little bit on my uncle's truck so i'm not sure what's going on with these so that's just one thing to note all these plow blades are pretty good let's see this one we don't have a plow blade on because we took it off but the wing has plenty of life left this is the plow that we pulled off to put on Vinny's truck because it has the different bolt pattern but I talked to my dad we're gonna get some more blades and the F600 in Orange County if you saw my past video when we were working there we had to change that blade after the first storm and it is completely worn down again after yesterday's storm so we have to change that but I talked to him we're gonna redrill it to fit the standard highway punch blades that way we don't have to deal with this problem of picking up a I think it's like a 700 or 800 dollar blade every single storm that is insane to be wearing through them all the time and Fisher makes their own bolt pattern so you have to buy that specific blade and it's just a pain you guys probably have seen in past all the blades that we have over here so we stock standard highway punch blades because most of our trucks have that and then obviously we're moving over to the winter equipment blades but i think that is going to wrap it up for this one tomorrow we are going to take care of all that stuff and then it looks like friday we have another storm coming in early in the morning so we'll see what happens but yeah if you guys have any questions or comments definitely leave them down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can hope you guys enjoyed it i'll see you guys next time peace